What's up guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. I am going to be taking on War Factory today with an interesting strategy. You can see we got Scorchers, Cryoneers, and Zookas. Now usually with this I will not bring a boat of Cryoneers and I rarely will use this strategy but I was kind of looking over War Factory and I was unsure on what I wanted to do and this seemed pretty fun so um, I decided I want to do it after we, we easily take out War Factory here. We're going to hop into a couple player base attacks, but let's not waste any time, get our troops placed down, and then um, see what we do from there. So I see a Doom Cannon targeting my uh, Scorchers right away. So we got to make sure to shock it because we don't want our Scorchers dying right away. They're, they're only, there are only troops protecting our Zookas, and we also have to make sure the laser beams do not hit my Zookas behind because that is going to be a difficult one. Maybe attacking War Factory with this was not the best idea, but I have faith in this strategy. Look at how much damage we're doing to this base, and we're going to be collapsing on it this way, so... Um, once we get the first attack out of the way here, it's going to be nothing but easy attacks. And what I'm going to do actually, because next attack might get a little bit painful, we got to take care of these grapplers. They have a huge amount of range, and we are doing no damage to them. Oh my goodness, look at that. We wasted like all of our GVE on that. That is tough. I thought I was going to at least take out the middle one there. Unfortunate, but let's save up for a barrage here, and then I'm gonna throw it on the far right one I might have to wait till next attack to deal with it again But let's see how's our troops doing we kind of abandoned them because we know they're gonna die eventually But we're just letting them finish up maybe get the couple extra buildings Maybe even a shield generator so we don't have to worry about that one in the next attack and actually over here Everspark is doing a great job if we took out this doom cannon that would be impressive Let's get that taken out, Everspark. Great job. I am surprised you did not die somehow. You are on your own right there. Okay, but now, after that barrage, we have taken the far right one down to a little above half health, which is very tragic, but we're going to have to take it out eventually. So let's just keep chipping away at this health. Maybe, at this point, shock bombs would be way more efficient. But I've already committed, so, like, would that be... GBE efficient, but um, so our Scorchers finally got in range of it, so they're just getting destroyed by the Grapplers. We threw a box of Critters, they just got zapped by the laser beam over here. Sad, but with Everspark only remaining, we'll probably just retreat here. Smoke her off so she can run. Actually, the mortars might kill her. No. Okay. There is attack number one. I think we did a great job. Got 56 buildings. That is nice. So that is most of our um, gear heart rewards right there. But we still have what? We still got two to get. So we're going to get those um, over the next couple of attacks if it takes that long. So what we're doing, let's throw down our Scorchers. Let's throw down our Zookas. And let's get them flared so they can attack this. Um, not, sh not like at a direct angle, but... So we can move horizontally across the base, because that's when I feel our troops are most successful. But we do have to worry about these grapplers over here. I'm just going to let them be for now. I do. <laughs> After I wasted a ton of artillery and several barrages onto the grapplers, I realized I probably won't be able to take them out. So we're just going to have to use shock bombs, rest in peace, my gumboat energy, once we throw a couple here, because... It's going to get awfully expensive, just like the barrages and artillery last time, but let's get a couple medkits out too. I see a rocket launcher somewhat hitting my Zookas. That could be the laser beam too. Um, we want to make sure our Zookas are healthy. They are the damage to this strategy, and we just got to protect them at all costs, and we might have an open HQ here in a couple seconds, but we did lose a ton of troops, so just clear out a couple more buildings. This gear heart is one of the more difficult ones. Now that I think about it, with this strategy, I could have it could have been a lot shorter if I just attacked it from this angle. How come I always realize this later? It's like I have no anticipation on some attacks. It's pretty sad, but we're just going to finish off these grapplers. Down goes both of them. That'll help us out tremendously next attack. Let's get this final one here. I threw a barrage. No, I did not. I threw a barrage now. Will that take it out? Down it goes. No more grapplers to worry about. Yes. 
But we have one more attack to take out this base. Well, I assume it's going to take one more attack. We still have three remaining, so um, no pressure. If we have a terrible fail, I will, with shame, attack it again, but that would be tragic. Let's have a shameless attack and finish it off here. I see the laser beam zapping my Zookas. Ooh, that hurt. Rest in peace, those couple. I did not think... Oh, there goes another one. Oh. Oh, that hurts. Oh my gosh, they're... Mm. Those late... I, I think it's the critters. The critter spawn is making our Zookas die because then the laser beam is firing at the critters and then it extends past past its initial range hitting my zookas Ooh, that's just tough that's a tough one ever spark you were the hero in attack number one there getting that doom cannon soloing it essentially um but i i'm not happy with your passive critter spawns in this third and hopefully final attack of war factory here kind of sad but let's get a couple barrages some artillery speed up that hq race let's throw a flare we'll just melt it down we have no reason to be targeting any buildings except uh we are down to a couple zookas alert alert oh my goodness that rocket launcher deadly but i think we're gonna be able to take it out down goes war factory okay but retraining our troops let's find a couple player bases to take out now i gotta get back into the mindset i don't have multiple attacks um on bases because war factory and imitation game you attack it and you don't take it out you get another chance on that base and your progress is the same it doesn't reset the base now that's always a difficulty for me when it goes, uh, when you switch from doing that, like War Factory, to um, regular player based attacks, because I always think, I'm like, okay, I'll just burn another attack, no big deal, and then I can't do that. And then at, by, by that point, the whole attack is, in a, is a waste because I was just being stupid, but eh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, we're gonna be able to take out this one. I mean, we just have to shock the shock blasters again. Keep our scorchers free and this strategy is a powerhouse. I think the Kryneers are underrated in this strategy because they're doing a great job slowing the buildings that are attacking my scorchers and possible splash damage that is um, attacking my Zookas because you want to keep them both alive. And look at it, first player based attack, we lost one Zooka, probably like one Kryoneer, three Kryoneers, okay, three Kryoneers. And then some Zookas, but overall a great attack. Let's hop into some more. Unlike warships, I'm actually using Grineers here. I don't know why they thought it was a good idea to Grineers at the beginning of the warship season, but I guess it is what it is. Is this a it is what it is situation? It just seems like uh, I I I don't know. It just seemed it it was shocking, <laughs> even though it was just freezing. <laughs> Get it? All right, enough, enough being dumb here. Okay, so we have a uh, boosted building damage to worry about, but I don't think uh, I don't think this base really stands a shot. You guys see all the defenses remaining here. It's not much. Our Zookas are mostly alive. Did we lose any? I don't know. Four team per boat. I think that's uh, I think that's how much they hold. So we didn't lose a Zooka. But look at that. Will the shield generator be able to stop it? I do not think so. But we're spamming critters on it. Who beats it? Oh, our troops beat it to it. The critters. I was kind of hoping the critters would win in that race. But that's okay. We're able to take out another player base. And I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Let's go back to base um, and see. I just started an upgrade right before the video. Apparently I had enough loot. So I was pretty happy about that. Can we convert any loot? And do I have a sub to send out? No. And I did convert the loot. New tribes in three days. I'm excited to see what that those are. Oh yeah, I forgot about the research. That's probably why loot has been easy to come by. The extra 50% in the tribes. That's nice. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, we do post Boom Beach videos every single day. So consider subscribing. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.